It is Thursday, May the 19th, and this is Love Notes, daily devotions from Holy Trinity Lutheran Church. Welcome. Today we turn our attention to the book of Proverbs for our reading. Proverbs is a book of wisdom, the wisdom of God. It is a book that outlines what it means to be wise in the eyes of the Lord, and a book that outlines what it means to be foolish in the eyes of the Lord. There is a contrast throughout the book between the things of God and the things of this world. Our reading today is from the second chapter, and it begins, My child, if you accept my words and treasure up my commandments within you, making your ear attentive to wisdom and inclining your heart to understanding, if you indeed cry out for insight and raise your voice for understanding, if you seek it like silver and search for it as hidden treasures, then you will understand the fear of the Lord and find the knowledge of God. The proverb begins by pointing us to where we might find the wisdom. It is in the words and commands of God. It is in the people of God as they try to live faithfully. If we listen, if we attend, if we cry out for the insight that comes from knowing God and not the world, then wisdom will be ours. We will come to understand what the fear of the Lord is all about. Now that's kind of an odd phrase. We don't know quite what to do with that. Most of us looking upon sweet and gentle Jesus don't have any idea that we should fear God. But this is an anxiety that we're talking about. We're not talking about the kind of fear that makes us quake and hide under our bed. Instead, this fear of the Lord is to be struck by the awesome and, and otherness of God. That God is so wholly different from us in so many ways that we cannot understand. It's the fear of the Lord that happens when you look up at a clear sky and notice all of the stars and realize how small you are. It's the fear of the Lord that comes to understand that you don't understand anything. It's the fear of the Lord that comes into play when we ponder the fact that even our very existence is a gift and we had nothing to do with being here. That's the fear of the Lord that the book of Proverbs asks us to consider. It also asks us to consider the knowledge of God, which is limited, for God is wholly other than us. But especially in Jesus Christ, we as Christians have some things that we do know about God. God is a God of righteousness, a God of equity, a God who is slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love, a God who is full of justice and mercy. And so to attend our ears and our eyes to see the justice and mercy and grace of God in the world is to seek the wisdom of God. And when we see it, when we apprehend it, when it apprehends us as a gift, well, that indeed is like silver. It is like fine treasures, jewels hidden in the field. It is something that is so much larger than we are that it blesses our life deeply. Today, the book of Proverbs calls us to seek the wisdom of God, to seek what we know of God, and to stand in utter awe and amazement of all that God has done. For that will set us apart from the foolishness of this world that is dedicated to looking for things that do not give us eternal life, that do not sustain us, that cause injustice and harm and pain, seeking the way of the Lord is to seek the way of wisdom. So we pray this day for wisdom, to see the world as God sees it. Let us pray. Our gracious and almighty God, your wisdom opens our eyes and our ears to hear the way you hear and to see the way you see. And Lord, when we get a glimpse even of your divine will, we stand in awe of you. We know the fear of the Lord and we know knowledge of you. Accompany us with your wisdom, Lord. Grant it to us that we may see and hear you. And so reject the foolishness of this world. We ask this in Jesus' holy name. 
Amen.